Welcome. We're here today to demonstrate the installation of an Agway AR steel roof system. Essential to this video will be the use of the power seamer in order to demonstrate how to effectively seam the AR ribs. Using a mock roof for demonstration purposes, this video will show the basic steps required in the preparation of the roof surface and the installation of Agway's AR standing seam steel roof system, including drip edge, gable, Z closures, and ridge cap. Our installer will provide a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to effectively install the AR panels and accompanying materials. Please keep in mind that this is a mock-up roof, which will obviously have some limitations and restrictions. This video will provide you with a quick overview of installation and assembly. Advantages of the AR Profile very easy and affordable to install. Available in 24 or 22 gauge in various panel widths and rib heights of 1 inch, 1 and a half inch, or 2 inch. Optional two piece expansion clips to accommodate movement of long sheets. Can be seamed at 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Can be seamed using manual or power seamer. With a 180 degree seam and optional seam caulking, panels can be used on low slopes. 100% recyclable. Before starting the installation of the AR profile, Ensure that you are equipped with all the necessary protective gear. Installers should wear protective gloves and eye protection and must be properly tied off at all times. They should also wear rubber or soft-soled shoes for enhanced safety and to avoid potential damage to the AR roof panels during installation. The following is a checklist of all the necessary tools essential to the installation of the AR profile panel. When installing AR panels on a new roof, no preparation should be required save a visual inspection of the substrate for debris. When installing AR components directly over top of shingles on an existing roof, it is important to inspect the old roof to ensure that it is clean, level, and free of missing or damaged shingles and mold. Rectifying any of these problems prior to installation will ensure the integrity of your AR roof. The flatness of all roofs should be verified prior to installing any AR panels. AR panels should only be installed on flat, true surfaces to ensure that the completed metal roof is flat. The first step for installation of the AR steel roof system is to install the drip edge flashing at the bottom of the gable roof. After you have measured and cut the drip edge to its proper length, hold the drip edge tight against the fascia board and screw down each end. Complete the installation by adding a screw every 12 inches along the length of the drip edge. The next step in the roof installation is the application of the titanium PSU-30 underlayment. Place the underlayment onto the roof so that it is flush with the roof edge and overlaps the drip edge flashing. Adhere the upper corner of the underlayment to the roof, then unroll and cut to the desired length. Then remove the adhesive backing as you apply it to the substrate carefully smoothing it down evenly as you proceed. You may walk around on the underlayment to be sure its adhesive backing is sticking properly to the substrate. Repeat the process with each required underlayment sheet, ensuring that each overlaps on the line indicated on the sheet below and that the overlap strip backing is removed to complete the seal.
The next step is to install the gable edge flashing at each end of the roof. Place the gable on the roof square to the base and flush to the edge. Then slide the gable back 1 8 of an inch from the base. This is done to prevent the gable from pushing the panel down toward the drip edge once the sheet is locked into place. The installation is completed by driving in a screw at the bottom, then at the top, and then in the middle of the gable. Screws are then driven in approximately every 12 inches from the middle outward. This procedure is mirrored for the second gable edge flashing. Now that the drip edge, underlayment, and gable edge flashings have been installed, we can proceed to prepare the first AR roof panel for installation. First, we will need to hem the panel. This is the procedure that creates a hem at one end of the panel so that it can lock to the drip edge at the bottom of the roof. In order to create the hem, first measure and mark three quarters of an inch on both sides of the panel at one end. Cut the ribs and flatten trimming the base material at a slight angle in order to complete the hem tab. Use a bending bar or hemming tool to fold back the tab created to produce a hem that will be used to lock the panel onto the drip edge. Each panel can be cut, hemmed, and installed individually, or the panels can all be cut and hemmed at once prior to installing the first panel. We're now ready to install the first panel. It is worth noting that AR roofing panels need to be installed left to right or right to left. Additionally, it is important that the first panel is installed precisely and is square with the gable edge flashing. Otherwise, the balance of the panels will be skewed across the roof line. After locking the first panel under the gable edge flashing and engaging the hemmed AR panel edge tight to the drip edge, install the provided hold down clips along the inside rib at 24 inch intervals. Each clip is affixed to the roof with two screws. You are now ready to install the second panel onto the roof. The first step is to engage the second panel onto the drip edge. Then, positioning the second panel side rib over the first, pull up on the panel while locking the ribs into place. Before applying the clips on the second panel, you will need to ensure that it is pulled tight to the drip edge. In addition, using a manual hand seamer, crimp the overlapped ribs of the two panels at the bottom. An additional crimp should be applied every four feet up the panel before completing the finished seam using a power seamer. It is worth noting, when installing AR panels on short sheet roofs, a manual hand seamer can be used exclusively. Starting at the bottom, manually crimp the overlapping rib of the second panel with the first, overlapping each crimp by three quarters of an inch thereby locking both panels together. This creates a 90 degree seam that ensures that the panels are secure and cannot slip downward. Installation is completed by applying the clips on the second panel and screwing them properly into place. This helps to prevent the roof from sliding down. As with the first panel, the clips are spaced along the inside rib at 24 inch intervals with each clip affixed with two screws. Because this mock-up has been created for demonstration purposes, the size of the roof allows us to hand seam the panels. However, the use of a power seamer is recommended for longer sheet roofs. We will provide instruction on the use of the power seamer for demonstration purposes in the following sequence. Hand seam the overlapping ribs, starting at the bottom and applying a crimp every four feet up the length of the sheet. Place the power seamer directly over the hand seamed portion of the ribs, either at the top or bottom of the sheet. It is critical to ensure the seamer is properly positioned 
with the rollers on the outside of the ribs. Otherwise, the seamer cannot affect a proper seam and might even damage the panels. Once the power seamer is properly seated and locked onto the ribs, power on and follow the seamer along the sheet, making sure to keep a hold of the machine to retrieve it at the end of the seam and to prevent runaway. When using a power seamer, the process is repeated for the complete roof. However, for demonstration purposes, a hand seamer will be used on the remaining panels. Seamer instructions, as well as care and maintenance details, are included with every seamer. For ease of installation of the last panel, it is recommended to fold the hem on the bottom of the panel to a 90 degree angle. This will allow the panel to easily slide under the gable edge channel while clipping over the panel rib. Once the panel is seated correctly, the hem can be bent by hand or with pliers into its final position over the drip edge. Now that the panel has been positioned properly and is firmly in place, proceed to seam the last rib overlap. With all the panels firmly in place, you are now ready to install the metal Z closure flashing. Standard practice is to snap a chalk line half an inch less than the width of the ridge cap to ensure its overlap above the panel is adequate while allowing for ventilation. For this demonstration, an 8 inch ridge cap is used. Therefore, a mark is made 7 and 1 half inches from the center of the ridge on both ends of the roof. The chalk line indicates where to place the bottom edge of the Z closure. We are now ready to cut and apply the Z closures. Each closure is cut to fit snugly in between the panel ribs, notching the closure to allow for the seam on the inside of each rib. The fit of the closure should allow the top to slightly overlap the ribs of the roof panels. Several modifications may be required to achieve this fit. Repeat this process for the remaining Z closures required. Once all of the closures have been cut and fit, butyl tape is applied to the bottom of each and the closure is placed into position. The next step is to drive three screws into the upper edge of each closure, ensuring that the screws pass through the butyl tape. The final step of the installation is the application of color matched NovaFlex sealant to the joints where the Z closure meets the roof ridge, creating a watertight seal. After measuring and cutting the ridge cap to length, lay it evenly over the roof length, ensuring that the peak of the ridge cap and roof align. Affix the ridge cap to the gable edge flashing at both sides of the roof with a single screw. Complete the installation by placing a screw into the ridge cap where it overlaps a panel rib across the length of the roof. As a word of caution, be sure the screws are not under torqued or over torqued. If you don't tighten the screws enough, the screw heads will stick up, allowing access for snow and water infiltration. Conversely, over torquing the screws could dent the trim, damage the rubber washers, or worst case scenario, snap the screw heads off. Once all of the sequences are correctly followed, the results speak for themselves. A roof that is beautiful as well as enduring. Thanks to Joe Pike and Whitestone Incorporated Metal Roofing Specialists for executing the installation of the roof.